block and tackle system now what is the meaning of block and tackle system in block and tackle system basically we have two blocks so this is our first block which is made up of fixed pulleys and this is our second block which is made up from movable pulleys means these pulleys can move up and down but these pulleys are fixed and only rotating about their axis so this is a first block which is having also called upper block this upper block contain fixed pulleys and this is a lower block in case of lower block we have movable pulleys now if i am talking about if number of pulleys are even and if number of pulleys are odd for example in one case i have four pulleys and in second case i have five pulleys then how i will arrange when four pulleys are there then two pulleys goes to the upper block and two pulleys goes to a lower block but if five pulleys are there odd number of pulleys are there then we have to take one more pulley extra in case of a fixed or upper block so here we will see three pulleys and here we will take only two pulleys so here we got a five and if four then two and two so it means that number of pulley used in the movable lower block is either equal to or one less than the upper block clear now one by one we have to see the pulleys different pulleys arrangement we will see and we will calculate the mechanical advantage and velocity ratio so first system we have block and tackle for five pulleys and convenient direction now what is the meaning of convenient direction before that block and tackle for five pulleys so here we have a five pulleys now we have to draw this pulley in the convenient direction we have to make a thread or use a thread or a string in such a way that it is forms a convenient direction now tell me which is our convenient direction downward or upward so for a human being convenient direction is downward so what we will do carefully see from the down we will use this string this massless string we have to attach one by one from one pulley to another pulley okay and finally attach to a hook so when number of pulleys are odd or you can say five then for a convenient direction the string is attached to a lower hook lower hook means it is attached to a lower block hook okay this you have to remember or you can also draw now we have to see the mechanical advantage and velocity ratio so here you have to draw the tension in the string basically here we will apply the effort okay and this is a load now carefully see for one pulley means moving from one pulley to another pulley we have to draw one tension so from hook to pulley one tension from one pulley to another pulley one tension we have to draw again from this pulley to this pulley one tension we have to draw from this pulley to this pulley one more tension we have to draw from this pulley to last pulley one more tension okay so these are the tension that we have drawn and for the effort tension is applied in the upward direction so this tension is only for the effort now here effort is equals to tension if you focus only on this part effort is equals to tension and now if you will see this block and tackle system load is acting in the downward direction and how many tensions are acting in the upward direction don't see this tension this is for only effort so count 1 2 3 4 and 5 so total 5 tensions are acting in the upward direction which is able to handle this load okay so mechanical advantage we have that is load upon effort load we have five tensions and effort we have tension so cancel it out so mechanical advantage in this case we got it as five so mechanical advantage of this system is five now let's see the velocity ratio now this if effort moves a distance of d for example the load moves a distance of d by five only why because these strings are moving in such a way that only some part of the strings will move so if some part of string will move five strings are there so load will only move d by five so here velocity ratio we have displacement of effort over displacement of load 
so this is a effort point here displacement of effort is d and this is a load point here displacement of load is d by 5 so here we got it as velocity ratio 5 now carefully understand this term from this only we will understand each and everything that if number of pulleys are 5 and the direction is convenient then we have mechanical advantage and velocity ratio equals to number of pulleys and what about the efficiency efficiency we have mechanical advantage over velocity ratio mechanical advantage 5 velocity ratio 5 so efficiency we got it as 1 which is 100 percent so here we are not considering any losses so efficiency of this block and tackle system is 100 percent now here for 5 number of pulleys for a convenient direction mechanical advantage is 5 and velocity ratio is 5 now we have to see block and tackle system for 4 pulleys for convenient direction carefully see the string convenient direction means we have to start from here so carefully see the string the string is moving from one pulley to another pulley like this you have to draw okay now in case of the convenient direction for four pulleys the string is attached to the upper block or upper hook clear now again if we will see effort here this is a tension for effort there is one tension from one pulley to another pulley another tension one pulley to another pulley one more tension one pulley to another pulley one more tension okay so basically we have four tensions handling for one load and one effort is handling one tension so here mechanical advantage and velocity ratio we have again four clear now we have to see very important case block and tackle system for four pulleys in inconvenient direction so what is the meaning of inconvenient inconvenient means we have to take the direction from this side means now we are moving the pulley in the upward direction we are using an inconvenient direction so here this a string is moving from this point to this point from this point to this point like this you have to use a string after that i will make also so here you have a block and tackle system for inconvenient direction now carefully see here it is a string attaching in such a way that it forms an inconvenient direction and here it is attached to a lower block now carefully see here this inconvenient direction block and tackle system is only possible for even number of pulleys either 4 or 6 or 8 like this like 5 or 3 these inconvenient direction is not possible you can try by making 3 pulleys and try to make the string the string you are not able to make appropriately means it will not touch each and every pulley now here we have to see about the mechanical advantage and velocity ratio effort is applied in the upward direction and for this effort tension is in the downward but for this pulley tension is in the upward for this pulley tension is in the upward this pulley to this pulley tension upward this pulley to this pulley tension upward this pulley to this pulley tension upward now here we have upward tension 1 2 3 4 5 so total we have load is able to handled by these five tensions and effort is only handled by this tension clear now inconvenient direction if we are getting then one more benefit we are getting that mechanical advantage is increasing so for inconvenient there is an increase in the mechanical advantage if we have four pulleys then mechanical advantage and velocity ratio must be four but here we are getting mechanical advantage as load upon effort which is 5t upon t which is 5 so mechanical advantage we are getting 5 velocity ratio we will also get 5 so it means that although if it is an inconvenient direction but one benefit we are getting that is it is a having more mechanical advantage than four pulleys so here we have mechanical advantage five and velocity ratio is also five clear now let's summarize the things so here we have basically number of pulleys n okay so here we have two cases either the number of pulleys are odd or the number of pulleys are even if the number of pulleys are odd then mechanical advantage and velocity ratio is equals to number of pulleys 
और नेक्स्ट वी हैव नंबर ऑफ पुलिस इवन सो इफ नंबर ऑफ पुलिस आर इवन देन फर्दर वी हैव टू केसेस सो फर्स्ट केस वी हैव कन्वीनियंट डायरेक्शन एंड सेकेंड केस वी हैव इनकनवीनियंट डायरेक्शन फॉर कन्वीनियंट डायरेक्शन मकैनिकल एडवांटेज एंड वेलासिटी रेशो इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ पुलिस एंड फॉर इनकनवीनियंट डायरेक्शन मकैनिकल एडवांटेज एंड वेलासिटी रेशो इज वन मोर दैन नंबर ऑफ पुलिस सो बेसिकली इफ यू हैव फोर नंबर ऑफ पुलिस दैन फॉर दिस इज अवन नंबर इवन नंबर मीन्स फॉर कन्वीनियंट डायरेक्शन मकैनिकल एडवांटेज इज फोर वेलासिटी रेशो इज फोर एंड मकैनिकल एडवांटेज For inconvenient direction is five and velocity ratio is five. Clear? Now we have to see the work input and work output for block and tackle system. So, what is the meaning of work input? Work input means we have work is equals to force into displacement. Input means we are applying the force on the machine, which is a effort, and at a which point? at the effort point here we have a displacement of effort so here we are applying effort and this string is moving this is called displacement of effort and what is the meaning of work output work output means force into displacement force how much the machine is apply the force on the load okay so this is basically a load and displacement at the load point we have displacement of load now we have to make that what is the relationship between work input and work output first of all see the relationship between load and effort for example for n number of pulleys this is a four pulleys take n number of pulleys when n number of pulleys are there mechanical advantage is equals to n which is equals to number of pulleys and velocity ratio is also n what is the formula of mechanical advantage mechanical advantage we have load upon effort okay so from here load we got it as n into effort put the value of load here as n into effort into displacement of load okay next we have velocity ratio velocity ratio formula we have that is displacement of effort over displacement of load which is equals to n so from here displacement of effort we got it as n into displacement of load put the value of displacement of effort as n into displacement of load so here it become n e d l now carefully see work input we got it as n number of pulleys effort into displacement of load work output we got it as n into effort into displacement of load it means these quantities are same so these quantities are also same it means that work at the input point is equals to work at the output point it means it this show the conservation of energy conservation of energy means the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can transfer from one point to another point it can only transfer from one point to another point provided that here we are neglecting the losses frictional losses and other losses we are neglecting if there is some losses then some part of energy is lost in overcoming that losses clear now let's see the effect of weight of pulleys on mechanical advantage velocity ratio and efficiency now carefully see in the previous derivation we have not considered the effect of the weights of this movable pulleys here we have two types of pulleys fixed and movable so fixed pulleys are fixed at one point they are just rotating they are not moving so effect of weight of these fixed pulleys we are not considering but here movable pulleys are having some weight so this weight is acting in the downward direction and load is acting in the downward direction so when you are applying effort at this point here you are not only making the load or not only taking the load in the upward direction but also taking the effect of weight also taking the weight of the pulley in the upward direction if these pulleys are very heavy then you have to apply more force in order to raise the load as well as this movable pulleys so now we will see the effect of the weight of this movable pulleys now if you will see for example the here we have n number of pulleys so for n number of pulleys n number of tensions are able to take the weight of the pulley and the load 
so load and weight is acting in the downward direction and n number of tensions acting in the upward direction after that in the effort point effort is acting in the downward direction and in the string for that tension is balancing so effort is equals to tension now carefully see mechanical advantage is equals to load upon effort load value we have that is nt minus w and here nt minus w over effort now here t is equals to effort so replace this tension with the effort so here it is replaced okay so here we got it as now divide separately mechanical advantage formula we got n effort upon effort minus weight of the pulleys upon effort so here we got mechanical advantage as n minus weight of the pulleys upon effort so this is the mechanical advantage formula when we are considering the weight so now mechanical advantage we have n minus weight of pulley upon effort so what about the velocity ratio in case of effect of any pulley the displacement of load and effort will not change so even though you are taking the effect of pulley the displacement part will not change so velocity ratio will not change velocity ratio will remain same for n number of pulleys velocity ratio we got it as n now we have to calculate the efficiency efficiency we have mechanical advantage over velocity ratio now just divide here mechanical advantage over velocity ratio efficiency n minus w upon e divided by n just separately divide it so here we got it as efficiency that is 1 minus weight of this movable pulleys divided by n number of pulleys into the effort effort which we are applying now if you want to increase the efficiency how you will increase the value of efficiency just by decreasing the weight of the pulley so in order to increase the efficiency of the pulley you have to take the pulleys as light as possible clear so here we have efficiency is 1 minus weight of this movable pulley over number of pulleys into effort now when you want to increase the efficiency for greater efficiency the pulleys in the lower block should be as light as possible and the friction between them should be minimized then only we are able to get a more efficiency for a block and tackle system clear